If a device activates into a fire condition, the panel will display the following information. If a detector activates, this indicator will be flashing, however if a manual call point unit activates, this indicator will be steady. Also this indicator will switch on, which simply means that the sounders are currently sounding. If this indicator is flashing, this will mean that the installation company has delayed the sounders from activating and the sounders will activate as soon as the delay time has elapsed. Also, this symbol means that a detector has activated. As the system must comply with a regulation called EN54, the information that you are seeing is mainly based around the zone information. A zone is made up of a group of devices. The 01 means that one zone has a fire activation. So, the information here represent the zone where the fire activation occurred. As you can see the panel displays the date and time when the fire occurred. Also, on this line is the count of devices within this zone that is currently in an active fire state. So, if zone number 1 has 5 detectors in a fire condition, this number will display 5. The P stands for panel number. If there is only one panel on your site, this number will normally display P001. If you have multiple panels on your site, each panel will have its own unique panel number. This is the unique number for the panel in this demonstration. If you have multiple panels connected together on your site, this will be the panel number of the panel that currently has a fire activation. Z0001 is the zone number where this fire activation is. Each device has a unique number which would have been configured by the installation company. Depending on the size of the installation each panel can be one loop of devices and up to four loops of devices. The number 2 here is the loop number, of where the device is connected to on the panel, and the 50 is the device unique address number on this loop. This is part of the zone location description label. The last line is the device location description label. If a second device activates within the zone, this number will increment. You can now see, there are now two devices on zone number 1, that are in a fire condition. You can view the two devices that has been activated by pressing F1 to select show events. Press the job dial button to select alarms. Now the information that is being displayed is the zone number, to view the activated device's location, press the button again. Now the panel will display the two device's locations. To return back to the main screen, simply press F2 to select exit. On the fire alarm panel, the panel is configured as default to give an operator access to the panel, without the need to enter a code. So, if this panel is still configured in this mode, to stop the sounders from sounding, simply press the sounder start stop button, then press F4 to select enter. This indicator will now switch off and the sounders will also now stop activating. As you can see, there is no need to enter the operator code. To reset the panel, simply press the reset button, if the panel is configured to secure mode, you will need to enter the operator code. If this was the case, using the jog dial button, turn the dial and select a user which has the operator credentials. Now press the jog dial button to scroll down to the password option. Using the jog dial button, select the correct password for the user. To do this simply turn the job dial button to select the correct number and by pressing the job dial button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the job dial button to log in as an operator. I will now demonstrate what you can see if there were two zones, in fire at the same time. The zone fire counter will display two. At the top, you can see the first zone that activated into fire and the zone location is on the ground floor, and at the bottom the last zone that had a fire activation, which the location is on the first floor. Currently zone 1 has two detectors in a fire condition and zone 2 has also two devices. This is the device location message for the first detector that activated on zone 1, and the first detector that activated on zone 2. To view the location information for both devices within a zone, once again press F1 to select show events. Now press the jog dial button to select alarms. You have a choice. Do you want to view the two devices on zone number one that has been activated, 
or do you want to view the two devices on zone number 2 that has been activated? For this demonstration I will view the two devices that are located on zone number 1 by pressing the button to list the device on zone number 1 that are currently in a fire condition. Pressing F2 to select exit will take you back to the normal screen. To stop the sounders from sounding, simply press the sounder start stop button, then press F4 to select enter. This indicator will now switch off and the sounders will also now stop activating. To reset the panel, simply press the reset button. The indicator next to the reset button means that the operator is still logged in on the panel. This will automatically time out after 2 minutes. If you require an operator manual, visit www.firesecurityproducts.com. Simply type in the search box ZP2 and click on the search button. Now select a ZP2 panel. Scroll down the page, where you will find all the manuals at the bottom of the page.